Hey, it's Dr. Steven Greenberg, and it is Nip Tuck Live right here on Facebook. Taking your questions about cosmetic surgery, so if you have any questions, just uh, message me, and I'm happy to answer them. I'm also doing virtual consultations throughout the day, as you guys know, seeing a lot of patients throughout the day. Um, hello, Aroxia, how are you? Um, so we're seeing uh, virtual consultations. I am scheduling my surgeries for a few weeks down the line. We are gonna get everybody in. I know a lot of people are worried. Are we gonna get them in to have their cosmetic surgery uh, procedures done? We are definitely gonna get you done. We're pushing you off for a few weeks until we can do everything possible, but we're gonna get your surgical and non-surgical procedures done. A lot of people are asking, you know, can you definitely get me in? I wanna be done for the summer. Yep, we'll get you in. One of the things has, that has changed dramatically in cosmetic plastic surgery over the years is technology. Technology has helped us so much. So whether we're doing a breast augmentation where technology gets you back to normal activities in 24 hours or liposuction with smart liposuction, technology gets you back to stuff again in 24 hours. Recovery times are less. Um, there's less bruising, there's less pain, and it's much more natural results, especially in my hands, because all I'll do is a natural look. For instance, if we're doing a facelift, I like to do little mini lifts. I like to get rid of the jowl. I like to tune up the neck, but I don't like something that's pulled too tight. Not happening with me. I like a very, very natural look. Um, I think natural is key. We, for a mini facelift, I make an incision around the ear, and I go under the skin, and I'll show this uh, video to you one day. Um, I go under the skin, we lift up the skin, and we lift the deeper muscular layers up as well. And so you can get rid of the jowl, you can get rid of the neck. Tons of people come to me and say, oh my God, I don't wanna have this neck that's falling. I don't wanna have a jowl. I wanna get rid of that extra skin. And it's a really pretty simple procedure where we can get patients back to normal activities so fast. I've had patients after a mini lift where after 24 to 48 hours, they put some makeup on and they're out doing stuff without anyone knowing. Typically to do a little mini facelift, patients take about five to six days off. But not you don't need to do that. All the time I get questions about, does a facelift take care of the neck? It's all one. So the face and the neck, we pull up together. And it, again, this is not this tight, crazy pull where it's distorting your face. This is just a little bit of a lift where you go like that, you go underneath, and you can really get rid of a lot of the extra skin and make somebody look years younger without anyone knowing. Nobody would know. I do a gazillion of the celebrities out there. So when you're watching television, when you're watching a movie, I do a lot of the... Um, uh, the a lot of the uh, celebrities out there, but they you look really good, and you don't have to have this crazy tight pull. So my goal is when I'm finished that everyone says, "Oh my God, that person looks better." Not, "Oh my God, what happened to that person?" Um, Aroxy is how do I find the best plastic surgeon? What are the factors? Because I mean, certainly board certification. Somebody who does this stuff all the time. I do a lot of these procedures. Um, you need somebody with experience. I fix a lot of people out there who are done by other plastic surgeons who I'm just um, not, you know, they're, they're just not happy with those results. So we fix them up and there's a lot of things that we can do. The um, uh, breast procedures that we do, I, there are a couple. So if somebody's really big or really droopy, we need to either lift them or we need to um, do a breast reduction. It's the same exact incisions, the same exact procedure. When you do a breast lift versus a breast reduction, the incision goes around the areola, straight up from the areola down and then underneath. And that's called an anchor incision. That's a breast reduction and a breast lift. Thank you, Donna, saying I'm the best. I appreciate that. Um, breast reductions and breast lifts are a quick in office procedures and it will change the person's life. When you take the weight off of the breast, they feel better, they look better, their grooving of their bras are gone, they, are, they get infections that they don't get anymore. Um, the, the younger girls are able to play more sports. There's a lot that we can do um, to make the breast look better. Sometimes, uh, and by the way, anyone guess the most common cosmetic surgery procedure in the United States? Just write it down. If you, if you can guess the most common procedure in the United States, um, and we're going to talk about that in a second. I'll tell you the second most common procedure in the United States is liposuction. 
So let's talk a little bit about liposuction while you guys are guessing what the most common cosmetic surgery procedure is. Liposuction is a way to take care of extra fat. Um, it does not get um, it does not get rid of the extra skin. It doesn't get rid of the cellulite. Breast implants. That's absolutely right. We're going to talk about breast implants. The number one cosmetic surgery procedure in the United States is breast augmentation. So when you're doing liposuction, we can get rid of with another laser. We can use a special laser to get rid of cellulite too, which is that dimpling that some people get. And we can definitely fix a lot of that with lipo. And lipo is such a quick and simple thing. Um, again, it's like taking the air out of a balloon. We can deflate you. I do a little lipo. It's done under a very light anesthetic. You go about your normal business the next day. Nobody will know. We can reduce the thighs. We can bring in the waist. Uh, we can bring in the belly. All those things do really well with lipo. So let's talk about breast implants. Um, about 300,000 done in the United States last year. I like to make a tiny, tiny incision. I like to put it underneath in the crease, that small incision, and the implant goes under the muscle. We use a lot of the gummy bear implants. They're the newest type of implants. They're soft, they're natural. We don't have to worry about free silicone anywhere or any of that old stuff. So breast augmentation, breast implants are very common. Um, it's a 20 to 30 minute procedure with my Greenberg Rapid Recovery Program. That's it. Doesn't take any longer than 20 to 30 minutes to do your breast augmentation. And with the Greenberg Rapid Recovery System that I use, by the very next day, you're about up and about and you know doing your normal stuff, go back to work in a day or two. This is not a lot of downtime. Um, and patients do exceptionally well. For most patients, they can go back very quickly. You know, everyone's a little different, but the majority of patients take some Tylenol um, or maybe take one pain medicine. That's all you need, and it's not so bad. So recovery time for a routine breast augmentation is amazing. Now, what we do in my office at the Greenberg Cosmetic Surgery Centers is we do a lot of computer imaging. Computer imaging works really well to show a patient what they can look like with a breast augmentation before we do it. We can show you what you look like with um, a bathing suit on or with nothing on or with a dress on, whatever it is. So computer imaging has actually revolutionized how we treat patients for breast augmentation. So for the first time, we can show you before your surgery what you can look like. So it makes a really nice difference um, to do that. Technology in my offices has, thank you very much, Liliana, for saying I'm the best. I appreciate that. Technology um, has helped us so much. Um, how does the Greenberg Re Rapid Recovery System differ from others? It's all technique dependent. Um, so it's the way I do this. There's no cutting of muscle. It's a very specific technique that I developed over the years um, to make patients recover very fast. How long does a lift and change prior implants take? To do a lift and to change implants, it's about an hour and a half or so procedure, depending upon how much work we have to do. It's an in-office procedure, as all of these procedures are. And by the way, with all the craziness going on, we are operating or will be operating when we start again very soon in my office ambulatory centers, which are pristine. They are absolutely unbelievable, clean, and we don't have to go to a hospital, and we have special programs available, so we're not worried um, about those details as if you had to go to a hospital. Do you offer Brazilian lift? Yes, we do a lot of Brazilian butt lifts at Greenberg Cosmetic Surgery. I do them all the time. So let me just talk about that a little bit, what a Brazilian butt lift is. And by the way, keep asking questions, guys. Um, Brazilian butt lift is that we take fat out so it's a fat transfer. I usually will do liposuction of the abdomen. We'll do liposuction of the waist. Shrink down that waist nicely. Sometimes people want a little lipo of their inner thighs or outer thighs or whatever with that. And when we take that fat, we purify that fat, and then we inject the fat that we did liposuction with and put it into the butt. And what does that do? That is, enables us to reshape the butt a little bit, sometimes the outer shape of the butt, sometimes the entire shape of the butt, um, we're able to do that. Some people want a bigger, more shapely butt and a lifted butt, and some people want a smaller butt. So if you want a smaller butt, what we do is a little liposuction. So those are the two things that we do for butts. Um, liposuction is quite simple. 
uh, recovery time, as I said earlier, is a better day or so. So you could do lipo on a Friday and by Monday, and the same thing for breast, by the way, and, and by Monday, be back to work. Um, so they're saying, what, what if you're thin, okay, for a Brazilian butt lift, what if you're thin and wanna do um, a Brazilian butt lift? It's very hard, you need extra fat. Um, uh, you need extra fat. How long does the Brazilian butt lift take approximately? Depends how much lipo we do. If it's just abdomen and love handles um, and we're putting fat in the butt, what we do is we, uh, it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to do that whole procedure. So it's a quick and simple uh, in-office procedure. You go home right away after. Um, so we have a fully accredited ambulatory center in our office and it's the highest level of accreditation. So it's not just like a little office operating room. By the way, our office, our offices are insane. You guys should see them. If you come over to the Woodbury office, it, it's like this huge, uh, almost like a hospital. It's like 15,000 square feet. Um, and it's really insane with the highest level of accreditation with board certified anesthesiologists. So it's an awesome uh, place. And, and in the city, in Manhattan, we're on 72nd on Park Avenue, also a gorgeous office with Ambulatory Center as well. We're in also um, the Hamptons, the Southampton. Thank you, Mary, for saying the office are beautiful. We're in Southampton as well as our newest um, office uh, just opened in Smithtown. Um, so we're starting to see patients there very soon as well. So um, uh, clean and prestige. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, we, I take great pride in what I do. So I take great pride in getting my procedures as perfect as possible. Um, and the, um, the patients to do in, in, um, their procedures in an amazing place. Um, abs, liposuction, sculpture is a reality. Um, so when you sculpt the abs when, with liposuction in the thinner patient, I can sculpt a six pack or an eight pack. Yes. If you have a lot of extra skin or fat, it's not working. It just doesn't work as well. Now, we do a lot of M-Sculpt along with my liposuction patients. So with liposuction, again, deflate the patient, remove the fat. Uh, M-Sculpting is a um, machine that we use. It's electrical stimulation we put on the abdomen. I've, I've gotten patients to get six packs with this M-Sculpt machine. We put it on the abdomen. When we do that, it's the equivalent of doing 20,000 sit-ups uh, it's in a half hour, it's crazy. When you put it on the butt, it's the equivalent of doing 20,000 squats. I've made butts firmer and bigger with M-Sculpt, and I have also um, made abdomens, you know, six-pack sculpting. So um, it's amazing. Liposuction alone or M-Sculpting alone do great. When you combine liposuction plus an M-Sculpt, wow, it is awesome. Uh, you're welcome, John. So it's awesome because they work in different ways. Liposuction removes the extra fat. It's simple. It's simple for me to get patients much smaller with liposuction. Um, and then you add the m scope to it and we can really get that muscle developed. And this is something that just came out this past year. We've had tremendous success with uh, m sculpting. Um, someone just asked me uh, before, what's the difference between cool sculpting and liposuction? Cool sculpting freezes the fat away. So you're sitting and watching TV for a half hour or an hour and it takes away about 30% of the fat from the area that we're applying the cool sculpting machine to. Liposuction takes away a lot more, um, a lot more fat. So we can sculpt and mold very much more fat when we're using liposuction uh, versus cool sculpting. But listen, if you want something non-invasive, um, you want to just sit there and watch TV for a half hour, we do a little um, cool sculpting and it freezes away 30% of the fat. Your body naturally excretes the fat, doesn't come back, and it works well. So cool sculpting works on the abdomen, love handles, the bra roll area, the thighs, the chin, the arms, a lot of places we can do cool sculpting on and it works really well. Where does the fat go when we do cool sculpting? Um, it freezes, your body excretes it normally, uh, you know, it, it just, it goes away and it does not come back. So your body just is able to excrete the fat when it's uh, broken down. Um, yeah, it freezes the fat. Um, so that's the difference between liposuction and cool sculpting. Lipo is always going to be the, what we call the gold standard. It takes away a lot more fat than cool sculpting. But you know what? Cool sculpting for the right person um, can do fine. Come in on your lunch hour, we hook you up to the cool sculpting. You 
watch TV or go on your phone for a half hour or so, and 30% of the fat from those areas will be gone. If you want a much better result, it's definitely lipo. Okay, next question, what's the difference between liposuction and a tummy tuck? Completely different procedures. Tummy tuck removes skin and fat and tightens the muscles. Uh, liposuction doesn't. So if you lost a lot of weight, had children, or just genetically, you don't have a, a you know you don't have a tight belly. That would be a tummy tuck. Tummy tuck is an amazing operation to get rid of the skin and fat from the abdominal wall. It works really, really well. All right. So we're here every day, right here, not only on Facebook but on Instagram Live, the Dr. Stephen T. Greenberg site. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram every day at 11.30 in the morning and uh, every night at 8.30, and then I'll do a Facebook Live after that. I'm doing uh, virtual consultations throughout the day, so just direct message me. I'm happy to do it. Um, or go to GreenbergCosmeticSurgery.com and schedule your virtual consultations. Um, can you offer for... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we can offer full confidentiality in the office. You know, we hide people very well. We have special entrances and exits, and we do very, very many celebrities that you would never be able to find coming in and out of my office. We hide very well. This is Dr. Greenberg. We'll see you tomorrow. Instagram, 11.30 and 8.30 tomorrow, and look for me on Facebook or go to GreenbergCosmeticSurgery.com. I'd love to see you for a virtual consultation. Have a great night, everyone. Bye.